five, four, three, two, one, go. Boom. Level up. 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 How you do that, Sierra? Yeah. Hello, kitties, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rogan, and this is This Bohemian Gal, home of big hair, bold looks, and big laughs. I show you how to break the internet without breaking the bank. So one of the questions that I continue to get up to this day, and this is months after releasing my video on what to know before moving to the Bahamas, is how do you get a freaking job in the Bahamas, Rogan? How do you get a job? How do the islanders get a job? And if I'm not a native of the Bahamas, I want to move there, how do I get the hookup? So if you're interested in moving to the Bahamas, but you don't know where to start as far as if that motorbike would just go, that would be very helpful right now. Let's do this again. So if you are one of those people who wants to move to the Bahamas and you need to know how to get a job and you're interested in knowing all the ticks, 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 the ticks, really? I've held down many jobs in the Bahamas in different industries. Trust me, your girl knows a thing or two, but know this, many of these tips and tricks are very unconventional. Not many, but a couple of them. A couple of them are very unconventional. Some are conventional and some are unconventional. Some of you might be like, that's what you have to do to get a job. I'm not talking anything nasty or lascivious, trust me. I mean, you could do that too if you want to. Anyway, just, just keep watching. Before I get started with this video, if this is not your first time on my channel, you've been here several times and you enjoy the content, please, please, please consider subscribing to the channel. And of course, I also want you to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. All of the details will be below in the description box and throughout this video. So with that being said, let's get started. One of the main ways that people get jobs in the Bahamas, and this is not everyone, but it definitely is a good chunk of Bahamians, is through a politician. Now, a politician is supposed to be representing your interests for your constituency. That's what we call um, the areas in the Bahamas that, that are divvied up um, by the representative. We call constituencies. And a lot of people depend on their politicians to make sure that they're representing their interests in the House of Assembly and Parliament. But they also depend on them for jobs. And there's no better time to get a job from a politician than in an election year. Elections are held in the Bahamas every five years, and next year we're going to be having an election. So now this is a time when politicians are, you know, the ones who are campaigning to keep their jobs, the ones who are currently in office, they're going to do whatever it takes to hold on to that position. And if that means finding a job for you or a family member, they're going to make it happen. And for those individuals who aren't in politics and they want a seat in parliament, they are going to do the same thing. They're going to do whatever it takes to get you, dear voter, a job and honestly I, I've said this before in my past um, video that this is really a form of corruption it really and truly is uh, but you know what I'm here to give you the truth and there's no there's no other way around it I'm not gonna lie on my channel just because it doesn't sound right but that's how a lot of people get jobs their politician their their representative their MP their member of parliament will get them a job you come around you want to vote for me that's what I'm going to need. I'm going to need a job and my son over there is unemployed and my daughter hasn't been working for two years. So what are you going to do? A lot of these MPs, members of parliament, um, are accomplished men and women. Um, they're either lawyers, doctors, accountants, business owners. So they have their own respective businesses. So aside from getting someone, um, say a government job, they could place them in their own jobs if if need be so that is definitely one unconventional way i don't know how it's done in other places in the world i'm sure there are countries that do the same thing but one of the surefire ways to get a job is definitely through your mp um, i understand that a lot of people who are asking me questions are not from the bahamas and so they're they're seeking to move to the bahamas so they don't have a representative but i'm just letting you know that that is definitely one of the ways that people get jobs particularly government jobs in the bahamas in the Bahamas, um, it's very important to know that it's who you know, more so than what you know. It's who you know. So a lot of people get jobs through hookups, through friends, through family members, through church members. If you're a part of an organization like, say, Rotary Club um, or Kiwanis or what other, you know, like whatever women's group, sorority, fraternity, if you have a hookup, again, it's networking. Um, you will have greater access or a greater opportunity to get a job in the Bahamas. That's just that's just keeping it real. It's no different than any town USA or any town Canada 
if you are a part of a group and people know that you're unemployed, they're going to look out for you and make sure that they get you sorted out or at least let you get your foot in the door to say, hey, I know someone or I know a place that needs someone. So if you're interested, you know, just tell them, you know, me and I recommended you or I'll make the introduction and that's how you'll get a job. So it's definitely through who you know. Um, another way is, of course, if you have the right last name in the Bahamas. If you are from a prominent family, and a lot of the prominent families in the Bahamas are very um, politically aligned. I've, I've said before in a, in a former video that the, the politics is really big in the Bahamas. So if you're politically aligned, you will definitely get um, a job, whether you are qualified or not. It helps if you're qualified, but trust me, if you have the right last name, and I'm not going to call any names, but if you have the right last name, you definitely will get an in in the Bahamas to get a job. I'm just getting these unconventional um, ways out and then I'm going to get into the conventional because I know that for a lot of you foreigners who are watching this video, this does not apply. Um, unless, of course, your last name is like Bezos or Gates or, you know, Rockefeller or something like that. Then, And you don't need a job in the Bahamas. You could come there and start your own business. Um, but I just want to get those con unconventional ones out of the way. So definitely, if you have the right last name, it definitely helps. It's not everybody. Some people have the right last name and there just isn't an opportunity, but trust me, it helps significantly when you're on the market or in the market for a job. Another way that people get jobs in the Bahamas is if, if you are thinking about moving there and you, you don't have a job lined up just yet, it's not like a company is bringing you into the Bahamas. Um, you want to definitely do your research and research, um, if, for foreigners in, in particular entails checking out international publications because a lot of companies, a lot of local companies in the Bahamas, they're international companies, um, offshore banks and um, accounting firms, that sort of thing. And a lot of them, believe it or not, don't want Bahamians working um, certain jobs. That's the truth. And so they place ads internationally calling for and, and and it's not just because they don't want Bahamians but because maybe they feel like they you know the Bahamian might not have the expertise that they need or they just want something different um, and so what happens a lot and you can always sort of tell those individuals too because or those companies rather because they'll place these ads with these expectations in the ad that they know a good chunk of Bahamians just would not be able to fulfill they might ask for someone who speaks a, a foreign language that's not just very common like Spanish French German um, it might be something like Mandarin is big right now in, in the world because it is it is common internationally. You know, you have a lot of Chinese people and they might be doing business there, but not a lot of Bahamians um, know Mandarin. So they'll place a lot of ads internationally. A lot of times they have in mind the type of person who they want for the job. And so they'll place ads um, internationally and in international publications looking for people. And they are, so you have to check these international periodicals as well if you're looking for a job or these international um, job boards. As a matter of fact, um, before I did this video, I did a quick research, I did a quick search, pardon me, on some of the job portals and I saw that a lot of offshore banks and a lot of companies like uh, I believe I saw Shell were looking for people um, to work not just in Nassau but on various uh, family islands in the Bahamas and so you just have to kind of keep your eye out for that in the Bahamas they don't have like job recruiter offices that you can go to um, where you can submit your resume and then they sort of like recruit for you a lot of things are done in-house. Companies have their own human resources personnel. And so when they're looking for someone, they'll place an ad in the local newspaper or internationally if they're looking for someone with a little bit more experience or a different experience. So you definitely have to check those international trade publications. And you also want to make sure it might be worth it to get subscription to um, some local dailies some some local newspapers in the bahamas and you can sort of peruse those those um, newspapers because a lot of those offshore banks and and hotels in different places those organizations they'll place ads in the newspaper and i'm not talking about classified ads classified ads the companies that that pay the big bucks don't place ads in classifieds they just don't they will take out a proper ad in the main section of the paper or in the business section of the paper so those are the places that you need to keep an eye on the a section the main section and the business section in particular that's where you want to go so just get a subscription or you know just make sure that you're going on um, those websites those newspaper websites we have several newspapers um, the tribune happens to be one of my favorites 
and I'll link everything down below and, um, and I'll try to put some some footage inside of this video so that you can see it as well but um, the Tribune, the Nassau Guardian, um, th there's just many publications that you can go on to just kind of keep an eye out for when they are advertising for jobs. You can also do cold calls. You can send out resumes without it being solicited. Companies are always, particularly if you're working in the tourism industry, there's always a need for someone. Now, it, it all depends on what your expertise is. If you're a rocket scientist, no. You, you're gonna have to not level up, but maybe level down because I don't know that there's a need for a rocket scientist in the Bahamas. But if you have more general background and you wanna work um, let's just say, let's just say in a hotel you want to work um, a front desk job or you want to work in HR, that sort of thing. Sometimes companies don't get around to placing ads. So by sending in your resume and just finding out who the right person is, you know, they'll at least keep it on file. And sometimes people think, oh, I know when a company says they're going to keep something on file, that means they're not going to check for me ever again. That's not true. I used to be in a hiring position. Uh, years ago and let me tell you something whenever we had a turnover um, this is when I was in, in the newspaper business whenever there were reporters that left to go on to different experiences or left the industry altogether I would always remember certain interviewees that were incredible excellent interviewees and I would I would keep their 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 resumes on file not just with human resources but in my own filing cabinet because I remembered them and a lot of the people who I ended up hiring were people who weren't who had just sent in stuff cold and we didn't hire them but we ended up hiring them like months later so you can't really just sleep on that you know what I mean don't don't think that just sending it in and they say they'll keep your name on file that they're not going to check because they're going to there's going to come a time where they're going to need that expertise and your 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 resume will be right there in the pile so just keep that in mind so definitely um i would say find out the contact the human resources or something not every company has human resources but whoever's the director whoever is the ceo um find their name their contact and uh send your resume with a nice cover letter to them and then of course follow up by phone um, that's really important what's really important too is that you do your research especially if you're coming from another country into the bahamas um, a lot of people just say I want a job in the Bahamas and I, it's like I said in my old video uh, sometimes people say I want to move to the Bahamas not understanding that there are many islands as an archipelagic nation and so there are many islands you can work on um, Freeport Grand Bahama which is considered our second city is more of an industrial town so they have a lot of chemical plants um, oil refineries um, drug companies it's, it's like so many different things there that that would work well for someone who's interested in those fields someone who's more interested in the, in the tourism aspect might want to take a look at paradise island nassau new providence so you know and also you have to consider too your quality of life like you might say i want to move to the bahamas for a more simple way of life but nassau might not be your speed so you might when you're searching for jobs make sure that you're looking for those other islands in the bahamas that would um appeal to what you're looking for um, rather than just saying I want a job in the Bahamas. The Bahamas is not one island, it's several islands, so just keep that in mind in your job search. Years ago, I used to kind of criticize the Bahamas for not taking advantage of those online job portals, the monsters of the world, the LinkedIn's, um, and so many other job portals. And I've seen now that there's been a complete change because a lot of companies, again, those international companies, even some local companies are are placing ads um, for jobs in the Bahamas and different islands in the Bahamas on those job portals so you could very well go to a monster as a matter of fact let me see Glassdoor indeed had some um, postings that I saw this morning when I was looking um, so definitely uh, start your search there as well because it'll give you an idea as to what is being offered and there are some things that you might be interested in some things you might not be interested in but that's something you could do from your computer. You could do that from your, 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 your cell phone, your smartphone. Just go on those portals, Indeed, LinkedIn, Glassdoor, Monster, whatever else you can find. Because these companies have gotten smart. They want the best talent in their ranks. And so they know now that they've got to make sure that their message or their ad is getting as widely distributed as possible. So don't sleep on those online portals. They're available to you. 
take advantage. You can also register through the Labor Department if you have expertise in certain areas. The Labor Department will, I think that they, they put out a board, well that's on local television, they, they will sometimes put out um, notices for what is needed and I used to kind of like turn up my nose at it back in the day thinking oh these aren't really really, they must not be really good jobs that they're putting out you know, these notices on this labor board. Um, and I was such a fool because I remember interviewing a labor department um, head one time and they're like, some of these jobs are like $150,000 jobs, $200,000 jobs. And people just overlook them. I'm like, what? Uh, what? With three like T's behind. I'm like, I didn't, I had no idea. I thought these were sort of like lower paying jobs. I mean, there's a wide variety of jobs. But the thing with that is I think they give first preference to Bahamians. So if you're a Bahamian who's watching this, this this video and I, I stand to be corrected but i think that's what he told me that you know the first preference is for um bahamians i'm pretty sure he said that um but if you're a bahamian watching this then don't sleep on labor labor department's postings because that that's a wonderful opportunity the thing that i was told was that there are so many bahamians that did not take advantage of those postings and so a lot of times because they didn't um these companies would would um bring in foreign talent into the country because bahamians simply weren't applying for them so we're missing out on, on gigs because you just don't know or you're just not interested. So that's really, really important that you keep an eye on those labor department listings. Well, anyway, guys, this brings me to the end of this video. Um, I'm sure there are lots of other ways to get jobs in the Bahamas. These are the ones that I definitely could think of off the, think of off the top of my head because this is what I've seen work for so many people. The jobs that I've gotten, my very, f I've gotten I mean, I had jobs when I was like 16 and 17, of course, you know, like scooping ice cream or working at the movie theater, that sort of thing. But when I really got into the business, when I was working as a journalist, a writer, a news write newspaper writer, I got that job through uh, a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, because I had applied. I just kind of cold called and cold. And I was like, how old was I at the time? 19? 19 i believe i just sent in my resume and it didn't go anywhere but a girlfriend of mine was working at the newspaper i was fresh out of college and and she was like i'm gonna talk to the managing editor you need to be here because you can write you need to be here and it was because of her that i got that job this is why i say those connections are so important and i know it's really difficult for those people who are just coming in and they don't know anybody in the bahamas but once you get there trust me bahamians have never met a stranger you will make friends very easily and especially if you're foreign um they definitely i, I don't know how to describe it but you know th there you have bahamians who will look out for you you know they know you're new to the town and and they don't they know you don't know anything they'll, they'll work with you to help you out um, that's not everybody, but a good chunk of Bahamians who I've met, you know, they're very, very helpful. So I hope that this video was helpful to you. If you have questions, please drop it down below. Oh, before I go, um, one gentleman hit me up in my last video on the Bahamas. Um, and he said, he asked me a question. I totally forgot. He said, um, is it easy to get a job if you have no skills or no qualifications? I think that's what he said. No qualifications. And the answer is yes, you can get a job with no qualifications, but you have to understand that you're going to be very limited in your money making ability. You really are. Um, and the Bahamas is not a cheap place to live. It's quite expensive. Housing accommodations, they're expensive. The cost of living is really high because everything, the majority of things are imported into the country. And so it might sound like, oh, I have no qualifications. I could just work any old job and live. You will find that your quality of life will be very, very low. It'll suffer because you you need to make money and a good salary um, in order to, to survive and to have the kind of life that you would want, that I know that you'd want for yourself. So can you find a job? Absolutely. There are lots of people who would be more than happy to hire you and pay you very low wages. That's the short answer. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave a comment down below. I love to engage with you guys. Give it a thumbs up. All the interaction helps my channel. Um, and of course, follow me on my blog, www.thisbehavinggal.com. And follow me on Instagram and Instagram and Facebook at This Behaving Gal. Yes, at This Behaving Gal. I almost said thisbehavinggal.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And I will see you next week, Wednesday at 1 o'clock. Bye. Be safe.
Go get that job. Go get that job. Go get that job, boy. Go get that job. Go get that job, boy. Go get that job, girl. Go get that job, girl. Go get that job, girl. Go get that money, girl. See y'all next week. Bye.